Do you need a fast and scalable data warehouse? Listen to my interview with Raul Pathak to find out if you do. Tell me a bit about what you do for the AWS team. Uh, so I'm a senior product manager, and I lead product management for Amazon Redshift, which is our new data warehouse as a service. How long have you worked here? Coming up on two years now, although uh, it feels a little like I started yesterday, so it's been great. Let's talk about Redshift. What, what is the genesis of the product? Redshift uh, came into being because our customers wanted data warehousing done the AWS way, which is uh, easy to provision, pay on demand, and uh, something that was easy to use and fast. Why did we call it Redshift? Uh, we called it Redshift because that's how we made sense of an expanding universe. And so the idea was making sense of an expanding universe of data. And it's also the uh, Doppler effect with light when things are moving really quickly from them. So the idea is that customers are having to accumulate and make sense of more and more and more and more data, and it's getting away from them. And exactly. So data's, uh, the rate at which we generate data is just exploding simply because the cost of creating it's coming down. You think about all these devices that are connected and emitting data all the time. What kind of customers are finding this useful? What's been great, Jeff, is that we're seeing an, a really broad range of customers. So we're seeing uh, large enterprises who were traditional data warehousing customers. But also now companies, even startups that generate tons of big data, are really interested in Redshift because it lets them, lets them make sense of their businesses more quickly. And then we're also seeing SaaS applications. These are companies that embed analytics into their products uh, using Redshift as the engine powering the analytics that they show to their customers. So we are uh, really excited to see a broad array of both customer sizes and vertical industry segments. If I'm a startup, how do I know when I need to start using Redshift? So it's really any time you're generating large quantities of data and the rate at which you can analyze it uh, is slowing down. And so for Redshift, really the value is about bringing data from multiple different sources uh, into one place and then letting customers query it really, really fast uh, at a price point that's a tenth of what they could have done before. I'm an enterprise, let's say, and I've got a huge amount of existing data. I look at Redshift, I say, this is pretty awesome, I want to get started. How do I go from, from that point to actually doing productive work in Redshift? One of our big design goals with Redshift was to make it work with customers' existing tools. And so it's compatible with SQL. We use uh, standard JDBC, ODBC connections and speak Postgres over the wire. And so really any tooling in a customer environment that can speak to a Postgres database can speak to Redshift, which is by design. And then uh, in terms of proof of concept, it's really like the rest of AWS. Uh, for less than a dollar an hour, you can spin up a two terabyte data warehouse in 15 minutes and get started. And then you can power them down, restore them when you need them. And so I think the, uh, the goal of compatibility with existing tools, as well as all the benefits of AWS around flexibility, low cost, and ease of provisioning, make it really easy to run proof of concepts and then to scale up from there. And what kind of scale can our customers attain? Uh, so we have a starting point at two terabytes, which is a single extra large node. And customers can easily resize all the way up to 100 of our eight extra larges, which is 1.6 petabytes of compressed data. And um, resize is another option that's pretty straightforward in the cloud. You click a button, we provision a new cluster in the background, copy your data from one to the other, and then automatically change your application to point at the new one. That resize actually sounds like a really unique benefit of a managed service. Is that accurate to think about? Uh, absolutely. I think if you were resizing by yourself uh, in an on-premise environment, you're actually talking about wheeling racks around. Uh, if you're talking about resizing yourself in an unmanaged environment, you would have to provision the new cluster, spin up all the new nodes, deal with the connectivity, and then deal with the data copying while ensuring that you had a consistent snapshot of your data when you were doing the copy. Uh, with Redshift, it's a button in the console, and um, we can do it while you remain online for reads. And then as soon as it's complete, you can go back to full read-write access. I really appreciate you taking the time to come by today and enjoy our little talk. It's great to be here, Jeff. Thanks. It's been my pleasure. Thanks for watching the AWS Report. Please follow me on Twitter and read the AWS blog.